Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another what I'm liking and not so much. And also I do have a special guest with me this week. So if you guys would like to see maybe what I'm liking and not liking and who my special guest is, please keep on watching. So my special guest today, I have really enjoyed watching this gal, this beautiful woman, and her name is Lauz. I believe that's how you say her name. She's from Australia, and her channel is actually called Call Me Lauz, and I love it because at the very beginning of each of our videos, you know, she'll introduce herself and say, please call me Lauz. I just... I don't know. I just, I, I like the approach of her videos. Um, she does really, really great tutorials, beautiful looks, does reviews. She does everything like, you know, a lot of the beauties do on here. I, the one thing I really told her, cause I love, I love her style of clothing, like the way she dresses, just seriously, her fashion, as well as her looks and just everything is there. And to top it off, her personality, like, she has this very kind, sweet, genuine personality. So it's like she just has the whole package. Honestly, I don't even know why she don't have more subscribers. So if you would, please go and check her out. Maybe show her some love. Subscribe if you like. I know you won't be disappointed. Let's get into my products. But first, I want to do something special just real quick. My friend on here, Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen after 60. She always shows us items that she got and she, she's like me i like a lot of antique things i like the victorian style era all those kind of different things so i always love seeing when she shows some products and items that maybe she has that's um sentimental or there's meaning to it or just because you know you found them and you find them fascinating so i want to show you a couple things here so these you see setting behind me here in the one corner and they are these old jars that a lot of women, you know, had probably their, their powder, you know, their powder in here or something. You know, I, I love the top design on this. So there's this one here that looks more like there was probably powder in here. And then these two little smaller ones to me look like maybe there was creams, like some kind of cream, cold cream or whatever they used or, or something like that in these. And I just think they are so gorgeous. My mom's had these for so long and she told me that I could go ahead and have them. They, they weren't originally in the family or anything. She just got them like in an antique place because she got into a lot of antiques. So I wanted to show these because they are something I really like and I put them up there because it is a little you know like kind of me like my style of something I really like it is in the beauty category because you know all right so I don't believe I have any uh hair care stuff here but I will start into skincare I am like on the skincare journey kind of thing I've been purchasing things some companies have been sending me some things so I'm gonna go ahead and start off actually with I purchased this and it's the Hydro Boost hydrating cleansing gel uh, from Neutrogena this here and I really like this it has a nice scent to it on top of it all but it's really a hydrating gel it really is a hydrating gel cleanser I guess is what I want to say and of course this says it effectively effectively removes makeup and uh, impurities and this has the hyaluronic acid in it okay a couple products that were sent to me here first was from the body shop oh my goodness I'm so excited I always get excited when the body shop sends me stuff especially now that it's in skincare so but they sent me these two products this one here is called the body shop drops of youth uh, youth liquid peel okay and this I'm I don't know how I could see because my camera's not focusing it too well I think it's the glare from the light there but this is one of those uh, ganache that um, who is it Mary Ellen after 60 I watched her uh, talk about this and um, 
not this one, but like how, how they work. It's that gel substance, like you put a pump in your hand and it's a gel substance and then you massage it all over on your skin and you'll see the parts of your like little white balls, little white balls all over on your face. That's your skin. That's your dead skin. You know, it removes all the dead skin that's layered on the top. It removes it and it's a, it's a peel. And I know a lot of people have been doing this. So when they sent me this one, this is really nice. I like it. I'm so glad they sent me one because I, I kind of get the whole thing. It's pretty cool. And I, I really like it. And the scent's really good. And the other item they sent me is this is called Oils of Life Intense Revitalizing Eye Gel, Eye Cream Gel. Um, let's see how well you'll see that one. I don't know. Hopefully the camera will pick it up here in a minute. Okay, so this has like this kind of iridescence to it. Can you see that? So it does brighten under there. It does hydrate really nice under there. I actually really like it and it has that nice natural scent. Um, I really like it. It's really hydrating for under the eyes and it does give a nice luminous or like kind of a, you know, it kind of gives me that look like I got from the gold elements, um, serum stuff that I liked and all that, you know, like where I put it on and it would, it, it kind of gives me that it does. It kind of gives me that same, uh, effect almost not fully. The gold elements is, was more effective. But this is close and it's obviously going to be cheaper. So I've been really liking these two products they sent me. Now this product here, oh, I am loving it. Just the only thing, the price is pretty steep, but we'll see how long it lasts me. And this is from a company called Tammy Fender. I've never heard of her, but I looked online and everything. It's called the Holistic Skin Care Custom Blended Formulations. This is the Bulgarian Rose Water, and this is six ounces. And it comes like in a little pump here, <laughs> and you see a little feather there. <laughs> but, um, you know, it comes in a nice glass jar, very nice glass jar. The only thing, it's like, I think $60. $55, $60. And that's pretty steep, but I want to see how long it's going to last me. So of course I'll update you guys and let you know, see how long it lasts me. I usually use one of my little cotton pads and pump just a couple little, but oh my God, I'm loving this. You know, if I'm going to spend uh, any good money, it's going to I want to still get good makeup and I still want to get high-end makeup and try some high-end makeup, but my skincare is going to come first. So we'll see. All right. And then this, I've shown us different times, but this here, the St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer. I love this stuff. Like seriously, if you are somebody with dry skin, this is a really good moisturizer. Very affordable. Um, you know, maybe some people might not like it. Maybe it might not work for everybody, but I use this a good bit and then I haven't used it for a while, but you get a lot in here, a lot. And it, it just sinks and melts right into your skin. It is 10 ounces and I think it's like $5 for it. And honestly, I use this on my face, on my neck, chest, you know, decollete area and all that stuff. Uh, hands, elbows, whatever, you know, just different areas. It does have visibly reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles on here. And it is formulated with collagen. So there's collagen in here. The thing and the reason why I brought it back on here today was because when I've been doing my bee venom mask that I was telling you guys about from Lana Cream, I'll put that on and then I'll put this on top of it once the bee venom one does its thing and whatever and let it, you know, dry for a bit. I put this on top of it. Oh my goodness. It, I can't word. There's no words. I don't even think I have words to say. Just wonderful. And I, I've been loving that combination. I highly, highly recommend if you are somebody really that does suffer dry skin, maybe you're on a budget or not, whatever, just try this stuff. I'm telling you, it is so worth the money. Okay. So let's get into makeup. A lot of these products um, were, there's several products that were new purchases for me in my 
BoxyCharm box, which my new one's coming. I cannot wait. So, okay. First of all, everybody was saying about my lipstick on my one video. Was it my BoxyCharm video? I forget which one it was, but everybody's complimenting the lipstick on me. And they're like, love that lipstick on you or love that color and all that. And it was the Urban Decay. Uh, I think it's from the Creamy Lipsticks. And this is in Venom. And this is that one that I got for with my points. It's not the full size. It's just a little, little deluxe. I showed it in my haul video. And that's what I was wearing was this color right here. And it is so pretty. It is gorgeous. Speaking of lip products, I'm actually really liking this because I like the pigmentation and the look that it gives. And it is what I have on right now. And I just recently had used it. So it's not like I've been using it for a long time, but with lipsticks, I feel like you already know for the most part, you like it or you don't like it. You know, some, it depends obviously, because for me, matte lipsticks is a hit and miss for me, but, and sometimes there's lipsticks maybe that you don't like, and then maybe later you find something that somehow it works for you. But this is one of those, what is it called? I forgot to even, cause I went right into my new video here, but it's in the color 705. I don't even know if you're gonna see the numbers, probably not. Oh wait, wait, Lori, you took it away. This is a really pretty color. Like I said, it's number 705. And that is what I have on my lips right now. And as you can see, it gives a nice shine to it. So it's a nice shine, but it's really nice and pigmented right there. And I only got one. A lot of times I only get one because I want to see how they work. But this is really pretty. Boy, do I need to quit looking over here. The only reason why I look over here is because that's where my viewfinder or whatever you want to call it, like where I can see how things are looking, like if they're showing up and everything. Sometimes I have a tendency and I apologize to that because I want to look at you guys. So I apologize for that. This. I have been using a good bit, um, not every day, but every other day or a couple days or something like that. And I finally picked up one of the e.l.f. Uh, lip exfoliators. This one's in mint. I didn't see any other one. I think they have other scents now. And I don't even think I've seen the regular one, but this one's in mint. It has, nice, it has a green color. You just put it on your lips like how you would your lipstick and just let it scrub off any of the uh, dry skin, dead skin that's on your lips, and it is great. I'll do that, and then I'll just massage and rub around my lips, and that's it, and done. And my lips feel amazing. So I'm really, and these are only three dollars. Then my eyes, I am using my fully charged pure cosmetics. This one I got the smaller uh, deluxe sample, and that's what I have on my eyes today. And honestly, I really love how it makes my lashes so, uh, like, like I have false lashes on, I mean, gorgeous. So really love this one. This is definitely tied with Mally's voluminous mascara. I, I don't know. I just, it truly is. And the brush on it, it's a pretty big brush and, but it, you know, it almost looks like if you think about it, the better than sex one. It's really nice. A couple products that was in my BoxyCharm that I've really been liking is the Vintage Highlighters. I've been using this a couple different times when I was doing some of my looks um, and putting it on my makeup. And the one side is uh, the Rose Quartz and then this is the Chocolate Diamond. And they're both just gorgeous. Right there they are gorgeous highlighters. I'm really liking them. The, the chocolate diamond is more of a champagne almost tone and the rose quartz is like a rose shade, but I wasn't sure about the chocolate diamond first, but it works because I've actually put both together kind of on this look that I have on right now. And then mineral glow from pure cosmetics. This came in my kit too. This is a nice size bronzer and it does have a glow to it. Uh, I would I would say be careful because you don't want to get too crazy with it because it can it could get muddy on you. I mean it works for me and I'm you know fair complexed and everything and it just gives a nice hint of glow bronzy glow so been liking that it does work out really nice for me. And then lastly I've been pulling this out a couple of times and wore it uh, 
a couple times I went out and about shopping and everything, and it's the Nude Awakening palette from Wet n Wild. This guys is a really nice eyeshadow palette. I I really like it. I love the colors in there and everything. It is a really nice palette. I haven't tried the other one. They do have that other one out. That's um, that kind of. I'm noticing like everybody's coming out with the Urban Decay kind of vibe thing with these palettes. You know, like one's almost like the first one and the other one's like the smoky one and the third one has rose colors which that's kind of what you know this one almost resembles so yeah I know everybody's been doing that the drugstore is just an overload I was in there just the other day and I could have went nuts and I did pick up a few things but um I'm gonna probably have a haul video coming up at some point with my boxy charm when I get my boxy charm uh, I'm not sure it'll be here soon but oh my goodness I cannot wait to see because the stuff I've seen everybody else getting in their new boxy charm is gonna be well worth and oh correction to that because I said the boxy charm was $15 it's actually $21 but still not bad for what you get seriously so all right guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate that uh do not forget to go ahead and check out lel's video i will put it down below the link down below if i didn't say that as well as a couple links down below to the other people that i had mentioned on my channel here today so uh yeah if, if you would please go and check them all out maybe subscribe if you like and everything and uh, if you came from Lyle's channel, welcome, and I hope you do stick around and you go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. You can join me each week. Do not forget to hit the bell, though, that's right beside the subscribe button, because if you do not, um, you won't always be notified for when my new videos might be up. Um, and if you want to join me and kind of see what's going on, what's new, uh, what I'm liking and not so much, and just all those kind of different things, I do a little bit of everything, but I do have my segments up every Wednesday, or try to anyway, if you want to join me. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did like this video. Forgot to mention that part. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let your beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.